have a saying on the show, uh, and I and I, I live by this, and it, it's, it's something that I, I truly believe. The skills to survive will never beat the will to survive. Who agrees with me on that? Raise your hand. Absolutely. I know, amen. <laughs> I know a lot of people that are very book smart when it comes to survival and, and a lot of other things, but if it came down to it, their will will not get them through the other side. Um, I can't tell you how important that is. Uh, you can go to every school there is. You can be trained by the best people. But if you do not have the will to come out the other end, you're not. Real quick, talk about the team environment. Um, I recently spoke to... Uh, a, a race team uh, in, in Mooresville, and obviously they have uh, a very cohesive team environment. And they asked me, you know, Joe, what do you consider the components for a cohesive team? Well, commitment. Let's, let's face it. If, if you are not committed uh, to anything, the team is going to suffer, 100% guaranteed, guaranteed. So the commitment level of everybody has to be equal. You can't have somebody here and somebody here. Everybody has got to be on the same page. Training, how important is that? Huge. Um, I was very fortunate to be afforded some of the best training uh, that um, money can buy, quite frankly. And I am a product of it. I wasn't born with the knowledge that I have now or the training that I have now. So training plays a very huge part. And I will tell you this, and I know there's some military uh, folks out here right now. How should you train? I heard somebody write... Train like you're going to fight. I like to say train like your life depends on it. Because in my old line of work, it, it, it literally came down to that. Um, and there was no other way to train. You had to train like you were going to fight, like your life depended on it. Communication. I can tell you from my experience, I'm doing... Uh, speaking engagements for some Fortune 500 companies and, and some other organization, the biggest issue that I have seen is communication. And I, where I came from, that wasn't an issue, but I'm finding out that in corporate America, communication doesn't always go from the bottom to the top and the top to the bottom. It'll get halfway up the food chain and it just goes to the ozone. And so I tell people, if if you have a CEO of a company or the head of a team and their intent is to do A and they're not disseminating that to their team, how is your team supposed to know what success is? And I asked this to one of the race teams in private. I asked each guy that was on the uh, pit crew, what is success? Every guy gave me a different answer, which was, it was kind of shocking. Leadership, it goes without saying, without proper leadership on a team, it's for naught. I can tell you from my experience that there are two types of leaders, and this is my opinion. Some of you may not agree with me, but this has been my experience. There are two types. There are leaders that demand respect and there are leaders that command respect normally what I have seen is leaders that demand respect have got put into that position not necessarily because they have earned it true leaders that I have worked with the ones that I have admired the most commanded respect they led from the front they were always there they never shuck responsibility. So just a couple little tidbits there for you. 
Next slide, please. All right. Color code of awareness. With a raise of hands, I would just like to see who has heard of this before. All right. I can tell you this right here is, is where I came from. You lived or died by this. Okay. Uh, it was developed by Jeff Cooper, who uh, is the father of modern pistol craft. And I'm going to go through this for you. First off, I'm going to ask a question. Actually, I'm going to save that question for you. What this is, is mental alertness, starting at condition white. Condition white is completely mentally unaware of your surroundings. Statistics say 82% of Americans over 21 years of age are in condition white. That's, that's pretty, pretty frightening statistic. Uh, and it's because of technology, cell phones, computers. Everybody's living right here. So that is not <laughs> where you want to be. You do not want to be in condition white. In condition white, if you were attacked, your chances of surviving are only going to happen because of the person's ineptness of attacking you, okay? You cannot be in condition white, cannot. Condition yellow is where you want to be. The beauty of condition yellow is you can maintain condition yellow without mental or physical harm for extended periods of time, okay? All it means is a relaxed alertness. That's, that's all it means. You're aware of your surroundings. You walk into uh, a, a restaurant, you notice where the exit is out back. Um, you're driving home, and you've noticed a car behind you the whole way. It doesn't mean that anything's going to happen. You're aware. I would love to know how many people actually practice this right now, because I know a lot of, a lot of people don't. Uh, and in the wrong situation, it can, be, uh, it can have very bad consequences. 